On this week's E-Series Design Spotlight, we feature the Lux Living Room. Kara, are there specific places, sources that you often turn to um, to keep up to date with trends and, and, and different design assets? They really are, and they change, and I think you'd be surprised. Um, obviously, California. Utah is making a huge comeback. There's cutting edge design in Utah. And then Miami. I think those areas really define what, where is design going? And then specifically, I think it's just an innate thing that I know and I feel but definitely, like, regionally, those are the areas. Cara, as we sit in this amazing living room, tell us a little bit about how you tied the design. Obviously, it's open to the kitchen. How did you tie in the elements for there to be fantastic creative synergy between the spaces? So what we've done is the fireplace, for instance, mimics this hood that is juxtapositioned to the kitchen. We've softened the corners by rounding them. We did the fluted texture which is an extra step and took some convincing, but they agreed to do it with me. Um, this is a masterpiece. I actually AutoCADed this and drew it, and I have a great friend that does this, and it's, it's limestone that we made to look like concrete, and it's really timeless because I feel like it gives that Art Deco kind of feel, but it's floating, it's just stunning, and I think it's a conversation piece. The bookshelves are the monotone, nice blonde oak that's mimicked in the kitchen. And we did a sort of um, monotone half circle made out of the same oak as the pole, so it just all blends in well. And as I understand it, the fireplace is such a behemoth piece, it actually took steel reinforcement to hold it to the, to the wall. And it is 100% bespoke. You will not find this fireplace in any other house, correct? This is 100% bespoke. I actually own the intellectual property on it. So this fireplace is only in this house and it's only ever been put in this house. The steel is aggressive. There's about eight steel um, bars coming out of the studs to hold this up. I mean, it was quite an undertaking and each panel had to be brought in separately. It's just, it's stunning. I, my mouth dropped when I actually saw it. So Cara, there's some really interesting and fun design details in here. We've got some amazing lighting, and then behind you is that wonderful wine display room. Talk to us a little bit about that. So it was very important to make this an entertainer space. So the wine room being so close to the bar in the kitchen, I think it plays well. We did floor to ceiling wine display rack with wood and same color wood, and we brought in the black. It's actually a local vendor here in Georgia, um, and it's very high end. So as far as the lighting is concerned, where did we pull inspiration from? This centerpiece is magnificent. Um, it's a Kelly Wurstler piece. We really wanted to go bold and just have these beautiful, the actual end of it is the, is the bulb. It's an LED screw-in bulb. I just wanted scale. This house is so big, I wanted large scale lighting everywhere, and I think that was important. And I wanted to play off the brass, so we, we went with the brass. Well, Cara, thank you again for sharing all of your inspiration and design for this amazing living space. We really appreciate it. Absolutely.